This presentation introduces ideas about permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bonds. By the end of the presentation, you should be able to decide if and when permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bonds occur between a pair of molecules. You should be able to explain their presence. You should be able to draw a diagram to represent the attraction involved. You should also be able to compare the strength of permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bonds to other types of bonding. The idea of an individual molecule having a permanent dipole has already been introduced using ideas of electronegativity. So for instance, the molecule shown here will have a delta minus charge on the oxygen and a delta plus charge on the carbon and this is because the oxygen is significantly more electronegative than the carbon and so pulls the bonding electrons towards itself. A permanent dipole permanent dipole intermolecular bond is something that occurs between two molecules when both of them have a permanent dipole. So it's a form of attraction between two molecules based on the charges on the two molecules that are there because of the permanent dipoles. We can represent this clearly by drawing a second molecule underneath the first one. So it's clear to see both of these molecules have a permanent dipole. The permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bond occurs because a delta minus charge on one of the molecules can attract a delta plus charge on the other one. And we can represent this attraction by drawing some dashed lines between the two opposite charged atoms. So for permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bonding to occur, you need to have two molecules that both have permanent dipoles. You can be asked to represent the intermolecular bond using a diagram such as the one drawn here. It's very important when you do that you use dashed lines to show the intermolecular bond. If you drew a solid line between the two oppositely charged atoms, that would look like a covalent bond linking the two together as one larger molecule. Here's another example to help you check your understanding. Why don't you pause the video at this point and try and draw, draw a diagram showing a permanent dipole, permanent dipole, intermolecular bond between two molecules such as this. The challenge here is firstly to decide which atoms have partial charges. And this is only the carbon with a delta plus and the chlorine with a delta minus. The second challenge is to draw another molecule oriented in such a way as to be able to draw the intermolecular bond easily. And the simplest solution is to draw the second molecule rotated slightly so that the delta minus chlorine on the first molecule points straight at the delta plus carbon on the second molecule. We can then mark in the intermolecular bond using dashed lines as before between the two oppositely charged atoms. You also need to be able to compare the strength of permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bonds with other forms of bonding. We can see that a permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bond is stronger than an instantaneous dipole, induced dipole intermolecular bond, but weaker than a hydrogen bond. It's important to remember though that these types of intermolecular bonding are all considerably weaker than ionic, covalent and metallic bonds. It's perfectly possible for a permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bond to form between two molecules that aren't identical to each other, as long as both of them have a permanent dipole. So here's a question to leave you with. Do a drawing showing the permanent dipole, permanent dipole intermolecular bond that could form between these two molecules.